Hello friends. Last night we did the most extraordinary thing. We went to Mount Wilson to view the stars, to observe the stars through the 100 inch Hooker telescope. Now I am not an astronomy aficionado, but my husband is an amateur astronomist and has a great passion for it. And his last name is Hubble, hello. So I'm gonna have him tell you a little bit about the telescope and then I'm gonna show you all the pictures. Hi everyone, so we went to um, the Mount Wilson Observatory, which is located above Pasadena, California, uh, near Caltech and JPL. Um, the observatory really came into its own in the 1910s, 19-teens as a solar observatory. And then through the work of uh, George Emery Hale, um, uh, Mount Wilson obtained a 60 inch reflecting telescope and the 60 inches refers to the size of the mirror at the back of the telescope and that 60 inch telescope uh, made some significant discoveries on its own it was one of the largest in fact i believe it was the largest telescope in the united states but it was quickly replaced by a 100 inch telescope where the primary reflecting mirror is a piece of glass with uh, silvered aluminum that is 100 inches in diameter and weighs several thousand pounds. And right when that telescope, called the Hooker Telescope, was installed, a very young astronomer by the name of Edwin Hubble was hired by the Mount Wilson um, Observatory to be the astronomer. To make a very long story short, after many years of painstaking observations, Hubble's data showed that the universe, first of all, is not merely, did not consist merely of the Milky Way galaxy, which is what people or most people then believed. He showed that in fact there were so-called island universes or other galaxies that were a million light years or more outside of our own galaxy. Uh, the second discovery that Edwin Hubble made at Mount Wilson using the Hooker Telescope was that everything in the universe that's at a certain distance is receding away from everything else in the universe. And then finally, he discovered that everything is receding away from everything else in the universe at an accelerating rate. And the logical conclusion of all of that is that we live in a universe that is expanding. Um, and the logical conclusion of that is that at some point in the distant past, our universe was just a simple, highly compressed point uh, from which all matter and energy emerged in something called the Big Bang. Now, all of those logical conclusions flowed from the, the observations that Edwin Hubble made. He was just an astronomer. He was not a physicist or an astrophysicist. And so he made very careful observations. And those observations um, then led others to, to these conclusions, including Einstein, who immediately grasped the um, significance of what uh, Hubble discovered. I want to note here, because it's appropriate, that Hubble's discoveries uh, were based on the work of earlier astronomers uh, and physicists, astrophysicists, including uh, Henrietta Swan Leavitt, who worked at the Harvard College Observatory, and um, Visto Silfer, I think was his name, who was another astronomer who sort of had the same ideas and then after Hubble, there were people who took his ideas and refined them. In fact, Hubble resisted the conclusions of his own data, but his data was so good that he couldn't um, convince others, you know, to not come to the logical conclusions about an expanding universe. So, um, we went to use the Hooker telescope uh, last evening, which sadly has been decommissioned as a scientific instrument because of light pollution in Los Angeles. And so now the former employees of the observatory maintain the telescope and they pay for its maintenance by renting it out to the public. And so if you're interested 
in renting either the 60 inch or the 100 inch telescope. There are about 22 nights a month where the public can get together, um, put together 20 people or 24 people, and you can rent the telescope for a couple of hundred bucks a piece. So we had a terrific time. Jill's gonna show you some video and some pictures, and I think that's it. Yay!